Hey you guys, it's your girl ZJ, back with more Crime Scene Investigation Dimensions of Murder. And we are on to Rough Cut, the fourth case in the series. And um, it looks like we're in luck. There will be a fifth case I have not played yet, so lots of fun coming. So uh, let's go ahead and start the game. Apparently I've already played this, I'm, I am pretty sure I have, and I might have started, but uh, didn't finish it, so... Blah, 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 blah. Yes, I'm sure. Hmm. Elevator music. Oh, come on. CSI. Computer. Ready for some fresh air? Oh, yeah. We may have a body waiting for us in the desert. The caller was anonymous, but the directions were specific. GPS coordinates, no less. Since it's a remote crime scene, take the mobile analysis unit. It'll help you analyze the evidence quickly in the field. And you'll be working with Greg Sanders. Before you showed up, he was the new kid on the CSI block. His years of experience in the DNA lab have proven very useful in the field. Good luck. You know, it's nice to know how experienced he is in the DNA lab and everything, but, I mean, they never really help you. You're pretty much on your own, so let's go to the crime scene in the desert. Oh, of course we have to have a load sequence. Ugh. Okay, even though this guy looks like he's been dead a while, there still may be some valuable information. Yeah, he's pretty pale looking. Wow, look at all those marks on his face. Oh, somebody beat us to this guy. That's pretty gross. This isn't you exactly a National Forest Service campsite. This spot's used by college kids who like partying in the great outdoors. Nobody checks your ID for a beer. I know this isn't your first time out, but Grissom will have my hide if we don't follow strict procedure. Which means, document the body first. Alright. Vic's face up on a sleeping bag. No sign he's been moved or of a struggle. Could this be death by natural causes? Okay, I'd really like you to shut up so I can, you know, take a picture of the body. Great. Um, huh. Let's see here. Take a picture of that oh, head. Something little. left to mark. Yeah, it looks like someone like banged him on the head right there. Ouch. Okay. Let's back up a little bit. Oh wait, let's turn around. Oh. Can't really turn around. Okay. Huh. Somehow I have a feeling this isn't the natural feature of this area. <laughs> this guy Slightly talks a lot. Slightly with black discoloration. Strange. Well, I guess we can't, um take a picture of that so uh or can we well I guess the doc can actually you know take a look at that oh cigarette gotta have some DNA on there somewhere you'll want a different tool for that Oh, I guess I have to pick it up with the tweezers. All right. There's got to be Way bugs to be around thorough. here, right? Looks like the area is clean. Wide tires. Looks like a 4x4. Four four. Tread isn't fresh. Not the best for matching. Hmm. 
Is there anything else? Oh, that's our lab, so... Right? No, this is not... <laughs> that's funny. Way to be thorough. Looks like the area is clean. Are we sure about that? So we have a bruise on the forehead and a boot print in the tent. Maybe a fellow camper whacked the pick upside the head and rifled through his gear. Is that a bug? Oh no, it's not a bug. It's just a bottle. I haven't seen one of these in a while. An old school insulin bottle. Always nice to have a name written on a piece of evidence at a crime scene, huh? You know, I think that's about it as far as evidence goes. Yeah. There isn't anywhere else I can look. So, yeah. I think we're done here. Um, we should probably go to the lab, probably. Or actually the mobile analysis unit. This is my first time using the mobile analysis unit in the field. Imagine a whole lab in your trunk. What was this when I was a lab rat? Cool. Alright you guys, I'm going to stop the video here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.